This video will go through the procedure for setting the clearance off the expeller for models A7, A9, and S3. First, jacking bolts will be loosened, which will push the drive assembly in until the impeller makes contact with the casing. Then, jacking bolts will be tightened, which will pull the drive assembly out until the expeller makes contact with the seal housing. The overall clearance will then be calculated to ensure it is within the specified tolerances. The jacking bolts will then be loosened to create a 10 thousandths inch gap between the expeller and the seal housing. For more information, please consult your operational manual or contact your local rep. Loosen jam nuts, two jacking bolts, and retaining bolts by at least two turns. Loosen the final jacking bolt until the impeller contacts the casing. Tighten retaining bolt if necessary. Turn the shaft to ensure contact is made. Using feeler gauges, measure the gap between the frame and the bearing carrier. Record measurement. Check that gaps near all three sets of bolts are similar. Tighten the jacking bolt until the expeller contacts the sealed housing. Turn the shaft to ensure contact is made. Using feeler gauges, measure the gap between the frame and the bearing carrier. Record measurement. Check that gaps near all three sets of bolts are similar. Calculate and verify the difference is within the specified tolerances. Remove 10 thousandths from the feeler gauge stack. Set the gap between the frame and the bearing carrier. Turn the shaft to ensure free rotation. Tighten the jacking bolt and retaining bolt. Double check that the gap hasn't changed and then tighten the jam nut. Repeat for the other two sets of fasteners. Turn the shaft to ensure free rotation. 